Hey, good morning, YouTubers. We are out in Happy Valley, Oregon this morning. We've got three rooms downstairs, three rooms upstairs, stairway, hallway. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to um, do our pet premium package just because it is the obviously the most thorough carpet cleaning that we can possibly do. Um, Again, uh, with our CRB, we're gonna it's already pre vacuumed, so we're just gonna go in with our, our CRB, put down our pre spray, agitate it into the carpets very well, um, get any matted anything out of the carpets. I don't think that we're gonna find that much matted debris in there. Um, then we're gonna go back with our steam cleaning. Um, one thing to point out with the, uh, the CRB, it does cause rapid soil suspension to occur. So when you put your product down and you agitate it in using the CRB, um, it detaches and breaks the bonds between dirt and all the soils and the carpet fibers that are uh, basically sticking to each other like Velcro. And that's why when you go to vacuum it, all that dirt is still attached and stuck to the carpet. But you're, with your cleaning solution, you're breaking those bonds apart. So when you go back with your steam cleaning, you can literally turn your PSI down to about 200 or so. And um, the analogy, uh, Nick, if you're watching this video, I really like your analogy. If you put dish soap on a, uh, you know, a dirty dish, you know, and let it sit there for a little while, you only need a tiny bit of water just to, you basically just dip it into the, the sink basin or whatever, and it immediately it just washes all the debris off. If you don't use soap, you're needing to use a lot of hot water and, and scrubbing action, so... Um, because we are using our pre-spray and we're scrubbing it into the carpet, we're basically just doing like a little dip. We're using 200 PSI water and then and that strips all the debris and everything right off the carpets. We're using uh, uh, probably 60 to 75 percent less water, which allows the carpets to clean faster. Our, we're not filling up our holding tank nearly as quickly you can literally go through an entire day of cleaning without having to dump your truck at all because you are um, reducing greatly reducing the amount of water that you're using so it's a win-win in both situations um, let me go ahead and grab our CRV and grab a few quick things and head on inside and uh, that'll be our job for today Right, so the uh, chemistry that we're going to be using today is a peroxide-based solution um, due to kids and food droppings and all that sort of stuff. Peroxide is basically the best stuff that you can possibly use for neutralizing and sanitizing and getting all any organic matter out of the carpeting such as spilled drinks and foods and whatnot. So, um, Carpets are not extremely soiled at all by any means, so uh, what we are going to do is our peroxide based solution, pre-spray throughout the house, CRB for super soil um, suspension, and then we are going to use uh, 200 PSI on the water and that, like I said before, it greatly reduces the water that we're going to use to clean these carpets by about um, 60 to 75 percent which means that they're going to dry much much quicker than if we were to pound them with the typical 600 psi that most companies use um, because we're not needing to pound the carpets for soil remove um, soil suspension and all that stuff because our crb is doing that for us so um, when i talk about combining chemistry with physics that's exactly what i mean is uh use your high school education um, in your advantage and it will do you great wonders um, of course um, always have intent and purpose for everything that you do don't just uh, has, haphazardly do something simply because you think you can get away with it or when you're looking for shortcuts always make sure that everything that you do actually makes sense I'll balance that math equation out and make sure that uh, everything works out for you and your customer will love you and keep calling you back because you are truly exhibiting um, the characteristics of a professional. 
So uh, create that uh, luxury carpet cleaning experience for your customer and they'll call you back for life. For you, for those of you watching this video, this is our counter rotating brush machine. Um, what it does it has got a couple of brushes that spin underneath of it, and it uplifts and grooms the carpet. It's not like those rotary, mach mach rotary machines that crush and smash and twist and pull on your carpet. This uh, actually, um, let me turn it over real quick. it over too far it's going to engage and start but you can see those brushes that brush so they're spinning and actually uplifting on your carpet fibers so uh that's the cleaning agitation that it gives for that pre-spray we just put down on all over the carpets and the furniture i did not move at this time because i'm going to um just use this for soil suspension agitation and then when we do our steam cleaning we will move furniture around because te technically you don't get a whole lot of debris accumulation underneath furniture but we do steam clean it to get it all cleaned up anyway so that is going to be the action that we're going to take we'll push under furniture pieces as much as we possibly can of course we did the uh Appreciated the hallway, the bedroom. So we got a bedroom here with a walk-in closet. Pre-treated all that. Both sides of the bed. Hallway here and the bedroom here as well. Both sides of the bed. We moved the mirror, made sure we pre-sprayed. You can see the, the indentation there along the wall. I'm gonna pre-spray that and Again, we're doing as thorough as a job we possibly can so that uh, max amount of soil suspension occurs. We are using physics and chemistry. Physics and chemistry. Physics and chemistry. And it works every time. We've got the truck turned on. We've got our hoses running up. Um, we are using a stair hanger for the hose because you don't want to fight gravity or else your hoses will be slipping down the steps all day long it's very very annoying yes i cleaned carpet for five years fighting that before i realized oh i could easily tie it off um so here's our steam clean we're going to go ahead and get started here we're just going to do a quick rinse through here um carpets don't look dirty at all that might be shoe polish who knows but our uh, cleaning solution has done its, its job on it do a quick rinse in the carpet and throw out the bedrooms and the rest of the place and then we are going to use our carpet rake over here to uh, groom the carpets um, it sets lines and allows airflow so it dries even faster um, the average is about 10% faster um, that's what the uh, the verdict is I guess so anyways here we go here we've got the cleaned up back bedroom steam clean closets done as well let the door open so it can dry in there brush it out raked I like to get all the lines out of there just because uh, that's my that's me personally I don't like leaving lines everybody does their own thing um, one thing it does do is it helps to dry the carpets 10% faster so that's another reason to rake your carpets when you get done. Bedroom, all cleaned up and raked out. Same with the, the closet back there. I'm not going to walk back over it because I like it to look nice and pretty. Everything with purpose and intent. Right, as we're coming back down the hallway, we got that all brushed out. Ready to go. Same with the hallway here. Now, just keep going along the third room upstairs we steam cleaned this and raked it all out um, what we did is we did move the furniture we kind of went around but we were very 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 light just to make sure it didn't get you know saturated underneath because like I said before the CRB we didn't really scrub it too much other than going around edges and 
getting as close to it as possible. Debris doesn't necessarily accumulate under furniture. Plus, you don't want the, the transfer of uh, furniture stains or anything else um, getting onto the wet carpeting. So we are, um, other than putting plastic under everything, which we didn't, I was just very uh, careful about um, how I was going about cleaning it and uses the least amount of moisture as I possibly could. So this concludes the upstairs. Got the, brush, the hallway all brushed out, cleaned. Looking great. So now we're going to head on downstairs or I'll jump on to do the stairs next. This is still on here so i got to detach our, our hanger and get the hoses back downstairs. Hey, downstairs, I mixed up some uh, Vacuate Dirt Axe, which is a traffic line cleaner, encapsulation style, pretty low pH, neutralizes, sanitizes, works excellent. But what I applied it on, you see this, this dark dinge along here, which is very common with couches, that's where everybody's feet go. So I'm giving this a try, I mix it up in here just because I'm only applying it on there just to uh, give it a test to see what happens. So. I applied it pretty generously and now I'm going to take our CRB and go over it and uh, take a look at what kind of results we get with it. Again, Dirt Axe, back away. And uh, I'll just spread it on and now we're going to groom it with our CRB. So we're looking at it again. We went over it and it looks much better. I mean, you can still see a little bit of slight grain, but grain. In there but uh i believe that as we let it sit a little bit it'll just continue to emulsify and get better but um that was just the dirt axe by back away and it's you know it's almost completely gone and all we did was you know use the dirt axe our crb amazing so um next step is we will extract it with our uh, hot water extraction and it'll look awesome Okay, so this is the front room area that all raked out and cleaned. We got that nice, nasty uh, gray spot out of there. Got some chairs cleaned up. Here, then we got a, a few area, a small area rubs out in the, the garage that we're going to do as well. And the uh, dirt axe actually worked very well on that that look there. You know, transition areas usually get hammered, and that looks pretty good. Um, the rest of the room looks great. We had to go around the table, but um, we were able to use that chair. Couch we couldn't really do anything with, but we got probably 95% of the room. We got downpours outside, and our work is not done here for today. Um, whenever you're doing work at the customer's place, it's usually pretty unorganized, so... I've got a mess of my equipment in here, so it always makes it a little bit more awkward than doing them on, you know, at, at your location if you have a, a like a, a area rug drop off or something like that that you do. Um, but here we got three kind of these shag rugs. Looks like there might be some dirt or something on here, so. What we're going to do, we're going to vacuum front and back, then uh, we made up some more dirt axe, we'll feed it with dirt axe, we'll run our CRB, I'm not sure if these are going to be heavy enough to run a CRB on it, if they're not, and the CRB looks like it's eaten it up, we'll just have to resort to a carpet rake, and then we'll hit it with a steam cleaner with the truck real quick, and that'll be good and clean um, generally when you're doing them at your place and you're a little bit more organized you can usually do a bit more thorough cleaning because I would be uh, brooming you know getting debris off the, the floor and you know trying to dump out as much debris from the carpet as possible but obviously we can't do that here so we're just gonna do the best that we possibly can Alright, so the area rugs, I elected just to do them on my location. So I packed them up and they're in the van. We're ready to go. So tomorrow, first thing in the morning, I got four area rugs to clean and then I'll uh, bring them back to location. 
luckily for us it's only about three miles from homestead so um, we'll get them cleaned up and looking really good in fact we'll be able to do a much thorough more thorough job than if we were just to clean them here